So today I'm going to go through another beef product uh, for Johnstone. It's the uh, filler head or a Chateaubriand. So as you can see, it comes. Uh, this came frozen to me a couple of days ago, and I took it out of the freezer yesterday and allowed it to defrost. So I'm just going to get rid of the packaging, and then as you can see, this is the head of the fillet or Chateaubriand as we call it as well. So the fillet goes continues along here, and then you've got the head. What I just want, what you need to do is take this silver skin off. Um, so all you do is just take a nice sharp knife and push it under the skin and it just comes off trying to keep take as little of the meat as possible obviously um, and we just work our way along the reason why we take this off is that that doesn't really render down um, when it's cooked and um, so it doesn't matter how much you cook it it's not going to melt and it could give the impression of the steak being a little bit tough when it's obviously the fillet, it's not tough at all. Um, there's a little bit more there, I'm just gonna nick that off. And then a small little bit on the back. Just a small little bit more there. That's just, okay. So at this point then, what I'm gonna show us how to do today is we're gonna roast it whole um, and put it into the oven. If I wanted to, I could split this down the middle then and I could cut it into steaks, so I'd get four nice steaks out of it. But I'm gonna roast the whole for this video. Um, so I have a pan on hot, um, as you can see, and I'm just co cooking this in a little casserole pan, a uh, stove casserole dish, but you could use a frying pan here quite easily. So I have a little bit of oil in the pan. And then I'm just gonna season up this piece of meat uh, with some salt, some sea salt, all around. I'm not going to put any pepper on at this stage. So as you can see now, uh, that pan is searing hot, smoke and everything. And then we're going to place that in. And I'm going to give that a really good sear all around. Um, and then we're going to brush it with some Dijon mustard and some cracked pepper. And I'm going to show you how to make the sauce as well. And we're going to roast the sauce as well. Now this beef has had uh, three or four minutes and as you can see it's nice and golden, it's had a good sear all around. So at this point I'm going to take it out of the pan and that pan is still nice and hot. Um, and I'm going to add in, I've got some uh, whole shallots here, I've about, no, no, I've got two for, about 12 shallots, which I've just peeled. I'm going to add them into the pan where I was cooking the steak. I'm going to give them a sec now to start getting a bit of colour. And while that's happening, while they're taking on a little bit of colour, I've got about 300 grams of button mushrooms, which I've just cut in half. I have about 50 grams of butter and two tablespoons of thyme, which I've chopped. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to roast off the shallots and we're going to roast off the mushrooms. We're going to get the mushrooms in there now as well. And we're actually going to roast the beef on top of these mushrooms and shallots while they're in the oven. And this is going to be our sauce. Um, so we're going to make underneath uh, our roast Chateaubriand or our roast fillet head. So at this point I'm going to add in my butter. Uh, and it's good for the season. I've got cooked nice bit of salt. And a great twist of uh, pepper. And already now you can start to smell the onions and mushrooms cooking. And a tablespoon of freshly picked thyme. If you didn't have any fresh thyme here, you could certainly use some dried thyme or some dried mushroom. And you probably see there that shallot here. Looks like it's a little bit burnt. That's all gonna cook down and caramelize. So don't worry if you to get a bit of color on the uh, shallots at this point, okay? So I'm just gonna lower the heat a little bit on that. And while that's cooking away, we'll go back to the beef for a second. I've got some Dijon mustard here. Uh, Try and get these on if you can because a French mustard be a little bit too strong, I think, for this. And we're just going to brush a little bit of these on on top of the beef. A little bit more. And then at this point, we're going to give it a good season of cracked pepper. So, be nice and generous here with your pepper. Okay? So I'm almost putting a peppered crust on top of this beef. Now at this point I'm just going to turn it over. 
and I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. So, good smear of mustard, and more pepper. Now, so, I'm the shallots. I've cooked down a little bit. I'm going to add in about 100 ml of cream. And then I'm going to put my beef back on top. Just there's a few little juices on the plate there with the rest of the pepper. We'll get them in as well. And now this beef is gonna go into the oven and I'm gonna roast it at 200 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes for medium. Okay, so when it comes out, I'll allow the beef to rest a little bit and then I'll carve the beef and I'll serve it on top of this delicious shallot and mushroom sauce. Now I'm just gonna check on the beef now. It's had about 15 minutes, uh, so it needs about another 10. So as you can see, that's still quite rare because I can see it's very soft to the touch. Um, but the shallots and the mushrooms and all are starting to cook down nicely. Um, and as you can see, it's making a sauce for us while it's roasting in the oven. So all the juices from the meat are dripping down into the sauce, which is delicious. I'm also serving that tonight with a gratin potato. So this is a garlic uh, duffamore potato, which we're also gonna share the recipe for. Um, and I'm also serving that tonight with some braised greens. So in here, I've got um, two leeks that I chopped up and I sauteed in a little bit of butter. And then I uh, shredded down some cabbage and I added that in. And then at about 100 mils of chicken stock. Um, and then I've just had that on quite a low heat with the lid on. And it's been cooking there for about 15 minutes. Um, and that's gonna come to the table as well. So we have our wonderful roasted uh, Chateaubriand, uh, our fillet head steak here um, on our uh, mushroom and shallot sauce and as you can see there the consistency of that sauce is just perfect I just sliced the beef up after I had 15 minutes to rest and I set it back onto the sauce and I'm actually going to bring that whole dish to the table and I'm also serving that as we already said with our wonderful garlic gratin potatoes which is just sliced potatoes with a garlic cream and I finished it off with some cheese on top and then we've got our delicious braised cabbage and leeks so we'll be sharing this recipe with you guys in the coming days so enjoy